Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this one we're going to be talking about why we should actually be excited for the Ezio collection rather than dreading it because the Ezio collection, some people were disappointed with the trailer, understandably of course, but at the same time we shouldn't let that bring us down and we should get excited and here's why. So a lot of Ezio fans especially and fans of the older Assassin's Creed games realise that there are a lot of new people flushing into the community what with Assassin's Creed Unity, Syndicate, maybe even Black Flag. And they're coming in to play the new Assassin's Creed games, but maybe they don't have access to the older games and are therefore a little bit misinformed and unknowing of the actual story of Assassin's Creed as a whole. Now, this Ezio collection is going to fill in a lot of gaps for them and make them more knowledgeable about the collection, which, you know, means both less stupid people in the community, uh, for lack of a better word, and also people who... Maybe more people who like Ezio, they might get some more Ezio of Dick Riders coming into the community and we all know that that's what we need. Yeah, we need more of these guys, right? We need more of these pricks. But honestly, the major point here is that we need some more people to understand the story and what a better way to do it than to go back to some of the games where the majority of the story really unraveled, where all the first Civ stuff came from, all the explanations, everything's in Assassin's Creed 2 through to Revelations, everything that's needed to keep all the new players up to date on the new games, which means that the community should either be more connected or more arguing over Ezio's dick length and that, that, that's fucking, that's tragic. Beyond that, we get to revisit the Ezio trilogy with slightly improved graphics. Now, I'm not sure how much you wanted. You still want to be able to recognize it as the Ezio trilogy. So therefore, the major overhaul in graphics would have probably denied that feeling. So overall, 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 it's not that bad a thing that they haven't gone too all out with the graphics overhauls and stuff. And we're going to be able to visit the Ezio trilogy with all the new members of the community. And we're going to be able to get a response from the newer people to have a new view on the Ezio trilogy for those who haven't gone back and played it. And those who can't go back and play it and have to watch Let's Plays and stuff. Because we all know that that's a good way to get, get an opinion. But I really want to see what the newer members of the community have to say about it all. I mean... There's a 95% chance that they're going to say it's shit and Unity is the best. But that, that other 5%, they, those people, that, that those people could be so invested in Assassin's Creed that then the community expands and we all become a happy fucking bunch of faggots. No, no, a happy, a happy, I, I suppose the word I want to use is family. But at the same time, I just want to use the word community. Also, we get to revisit Ezio ourselves with slightly improved shit. So that's going to be fun, and Assassin's Creed 2 especially has seen some major improvements, especially in colouring. So Assassin's Creed 2 is going to be an experience for all of us, not just the new people, the old people as well. I've guaranteed that some things are going to look so much better than you're going to think, wow, I want to wank to this tonight, and other things won't look such great, but so great, but they won't look any worse than they did in Assassin's Creed 2. Now, believe me, I have never held the graphics of AC2 in high regard, but... Overall, it's never been that bad, so I'm really, really looking forward to the Ezio collection as a whole. Also, there is the slightly unlikely chance that Ubisoft, well, Virtuous Games actually, are going to be slotting in tiny Easter eggs and references with the approval of Ubisoft, maybe hinting towards Assassin's Creed Empire. I got a comment from Craig, he said something about maybe they will put like a teaser in the menu or something like they did for... James Cameron's avatar of a game, and I have no fucking idea why they did that. But maybe, I mean, it's unlikely, but it'll be a cool idea. And all this stuff we don't know yet. Maybe they could do it, maybe they won't. And really, that's the thing, they could do it. So, guys, basically, that's another thing that we could think about. They could put some stuff in there to hint towards Assassin's Creed Empire and stuff like that. And trust me, they, they probably will do it somewhere. There'll be a discreet, there'll be a discreet Easter egg that nobody's seen before in the previous games. I can assure you of that. And it will just, I actually don't know, but I'm pretty certain they'll put an easter egg in there that we haven't seen before somewhere. Maybe like a, little, a tiny hint to something, or maybe just maybe just a hint to Assassin's Creed Empire. Now I could make an entire video on that idea if you guys want me to milk it more than I already am. But anyway guys, those are some very interestingly shit reasons why you should definitely be 110% excited to see what this game has to offer when it comes out because we all know what it's like, we want to know what it's going to look like, we haven't seen much gameplay and maybe the experience will be so enhanced that we, we're going to enjoy it guys. So that's that's the point I'm trying to make. I can't wait to see what people think about it, new and old, and I can't wait to 
I'll probably play it myself at some point, and I can't wait to do that at some point as well. However, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me why you are or why you are not hyped in the comments section down below. And I'll see you all in the next one with another video. See ya. So down.